Number seven, what is the conjugate acid of each of the following? And then what's the conjugate base of each? And then we have letter C. So in this case, we have to find the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of HCO3 minus. Now, if you can find a conjugate acid and a conjugate base of one individual ion, that means that you basically HCO3 minus can act as both an acid and a base. It's got both properties. This can act as an acid because I see that there's an H in the front. Anytime that you see an H in the front of, an, of a molecule, it's going to be an acid. Also, it can act as a base because I see that it has a negative charge. Generally, if you see negative charges, it will act as a base. So since this one has both of them, it could act as both an acid and a base. So let's just split this down the middle and work side by side. So let's find out what that conjugate base is first. That means that the HCO3 minus is going to be acting as an acid. So how do I go from an acid to its conjugate base? Well, remember, a base always has one less hydrogen than its acid. So all you got to do is just find the H and boop, get rid of it. It doesn't exist anymore. So what's left? CO3. Now you might mem remember this as a polyatomic that we learned, you know, all the way in the beginning of Chem 1. But we got to find that charge. But all you got to do is just subtract 1 or minus 1 from the charge. There was a negative charge, right, in HCO3? That's a negative 1. So I say, okay, I had a negative 1. Going to a conjugate base, I minus 1. So negative 1 minus 1 is a negative 2. And that's carbonate. So this is the con base. Now we just have to do the same thing to go get the conjugate acid. So I have HCO3 minus. Remember, the acid will always have one more hydrogen. So you got to gain one hydrogen. Well, there is only one hydrogen. So how many am I going to have now? Yeah, I'm going to have H. 2, and then CO3. Everything else comes along for the ride. And then you just got to fix that charge. If you're going from a base to an acid, you got to just plus 1 to the total charge. So it was a negative 1 charge, right? So I say negative 1 plus 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is just 0. So I don't have to write a charge here. And this is the conjugate acid. Pretty cool, right? So we have carbonate and carbonic acid. Beauty. Okie dokie. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I hope you guys are having a great day out there. And let's keep working hard. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.